What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Creators Cut. We're taking a look at Malama Life today. And before we get into it, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. We're really moving and uh, 2024 is going to be huge. I'm working on a bunch of stuff with the team over here, the newsletter, and just a couple other things that hopefully give you guys value so we are moving uh if you guys are new here my name is kev i break down videos from your favorite creators more i guess cinematically in terms of shooting and editing not everyone on this channel in terms of all these creators are at the same level but the one thing that they do have in common is that they are creators and some of your favorite creators and they have huge following just built on yes maybe they're the way they shoot and the way they make content but just being themselves and being really good creators so i'm glad i can help you guys you know dive deeper into a lot of these creators and hopefully in turn you guys make great content and build your followings so let's get right into it before we really jump into the video breakdown i want to preface the style of content that malama life creates it's all about slow living and living intentionally so a lot of the shots are lower it really fits the lifestyle that she has and you know the audience that is really into this stuff so i love it i enjoy it but i did want to preface that because i think i should start doing that with a lot of these creators just so you guys know the intentions behind you know how they shoot or how they create their content so today we're going to take a look at this 30 day declutter will transform your life just 10 minutes a day let's do it Decluttering is not just about throwing away stuff. It's actually about reflecting on the different areas of our lives, honing in on what's important, and letting go of what doesn't serve us anymore. Just these first four shots, listen to it. Uh, talking about decluttering is not just about throwing things away. Uh, Top-down angle of the garbage with the action and the movement of opening it up and throwing out uh, the garbage. Then it gets into reflection. It's actually about reflecting on the different reflecting. So what do you think about reflecting, journaling, writing down your thoughts areas of our lives, honing in on what's important, honing in on what's important, the choices you have to make, looking at different things and letting go of what doesn't serve us anymore and then letting go. So dropping into these boxes, you could see their titled trash, sell and donate. That's a good touch. It can be a transformative process that can change our lives. I know it did for me. Of course, there are many ways of doing this, but over the years, I feel like I found a relief. Just within this first couple of shots, so many different angles, right? And I love how she mixes it up between, you know, these lower angles of the floor. This one is tilted up. This one's like waist height because you could see her walking in. Change our lives. And then sitting on the floor. Of course. And this is above tilted down. There are many ways of doing this. But over the years, I feel like I found a reliable system that works. Dedicated okay, so in one of the earlier videos, I feel like it was Carissa's video. I talk about how like there's like a performance that you have to do, especially if you're trying to be the main character in your videos. And it's different for a lot of people, but I think that's why some of these creators do it so well. It's almost like acting. There are a lot of creators who can actually perform really, really well. And I think it's because there are certain things that they understand about the way things are shot and even the slightest movement or, or actions within the body that can make you feel a certain way. She here is talking about... Like I found a reliable system that works. How she found a reliable system that works. Confidence. You know, you, you finding and achieving something. You know, she's looking away, shoulders back. She's like straight up. And it feels... It feels good. Achieve something. Uh, just think about this. If you were to talk about maybe not achieving something or doubting yourself. So just think about how different this would feel if she was in the same position and she was looking away, right? And then having all this negative space on this side. It would almost feel like she is avoiding something just by the way that you're looking at a certain way, right? So as opposed to looking up like this, imagine her looking this way and maybe a little down. That could change the whole mood. That could also feel completely different with the lighting. Imagine shooting this at night and she was looking away and down. Two totally different feelings. And I just want to bring it up because this is how I feel when I see this. I'm like, oh, what she's saying matches. And she does this really well with a lot of the script and like the words that she writes and matching them up with B-roll. And since the new year is coming up, I thought this was a perfect opportunity to do a life declutter with you. Dedicating just... 10 minutes a day for the next 30 days. So whether you are oh. a minimalist or not. 
I love how she actually has a close up of the tape right here. I thought this was a. And then she brings it out. I know it's not the same, not the same thing that she's taping. She's taped the middle here. But getting those two angles where it's just a close up and then a wide shot, a good rule of thumb when you are shooting and you want as much coverage as possible have three different angles if you just kind of want to cover stuff so it's always a close-up you know a medium shot and then a wide shot of the same action so then when you get into editing depending on how you want the audience to feel you could like edit to it so you could mix it up where it's all close-up shots or you can mix it up where it's close-up wide shot medium shot or all wide shots all different feelings all different angles and then listen to how she matches the 10 minutes with the 30 day challenge and then she actually shows you know her phone and then the calendar her switching from month to month dedicating just 10 minutes a day for the next 30 days boom so whether you are a minimalist or not so it's just the uh, thought and idea of that like, i feel like she wrote the script first and it's like how can i show you know 10 minutes and then how can i show 30 days because you could show that so many different ways 10 minutes you could actually just show a time lapse of a clock you can actually write 10 minutes on let's just say like a piece of paper and shoot it that way casey neistat does that a lot where he's writing stuff she did it with like a timer and then 30 days maybe it is a passing of a calendar or you know you flipping a page in a planner for her she's doing it on the computer and switching from month to month so there's just so many ways you could do this and she does it perfectly but the 30 days you might also agree that decluttering can be life-changing Mm, nice. I like the way that this looks. It's very clean, very simple. So what she does here is she lays a text over footage and it almost looks like, I don't know if she changed the opacity of the actual footage where it's, you know, it's a little darker. Maybe she changed the exposure. So there's different ways you could do it. Or what some people do is you have your footage and then on top of that, you'll have maybe a, a black mat and then change the opacity of that. So you don't lose a lot of the details in the actual footage and the lighting and then having the title on top so like the way it looks just in case you guys are wondering how she did it or how you can do this okay before we do anything i think it's important to make a decluttering plan is it to simplify for inner peace so she talks about inner peace home, incense to reset your space and mind for the new year taking a moment mm. to reflect on this is so important so right here foreground this she has in the front fills up the frame feels good it's super intentional because she put herself on this side of the frame so it's like you know if this was empty she's like okay cool let me, let, let me get this in the shot if your closet is unmanageable try to give yourself a specific budget next year this is so important so that we don't go into the cycle of purging then so this is a little it. soft on the focus so this is the issue when you shoot with like such a low f-stop it's hard because like look what's in focus it's like this when i feel like maybe she really wanted it to be in the center the only issue is like when you're shooting by yourself and you're trying to do it you know it, it it's really tough to get that angle and that in focus for me it's like i probably shoot at a little bit of a higher f-stop just so i could get majority of the phone in focus something to to note when you guys are shooting and the maybe pile Let's start in the living room. Okay. Probably the most problematic thing. I love how the shot is slower um, and she's actually panning from left to right very, very slightly. She did it earlier with the clothes in the closet. And I think the idea of slow living and minimalism, the slow pans and tilts and the slow camera movements really work well just because it really emphasizes that. Just slow, slow, slow. As opposed to just it being stationary, which you could do as well. But any type of movement is always good. My thing here is a lot of the shots against the window are very overexposed. So this is like really, really bright. For me, I feel like the detail, maybe she did it on purpose because the background maybe doesn't look good so that's a whole different story but if you guys are shooting and you guys are noticing you know when you guys are shooting against your windows the reason is because you are probably trying to expose for the inside and when you expose for the inside the sun is just way too bright that it gives you this overexposed background there are certain things that you can buy where you can balance this out you could expose for the background but that means that everything in inside is dark then what you would have to do is maybe turn on some of these lights maybe actually light the room so it's even you can also buy filters for your camera that will 
have you expose a background and actually give the inside a bit more uh, exposure. But if you can't do that, you, you know, you don't have the money to buy all this stuff. What I would do is I would I'd raise the f-stop so the background is a little bit more exposed and then find a middle ground between the inside and the outside and then in post maybe like lift the shadows just because I feel like sometimes the outside seeing everything gives it a little bit more life, you know? Second day was for mm. dead plants. So here, what I'm talking about, like this looks great. Just seeing that like little touch of green against like that nice white in the living room would have been really, really nice to see. I bought this cute treat holder from Korea, but my dogs are not the biggest fan of it. So I decided I'm going to donate it since it's almost brand new. Because this is about like decluttering, like packing things up, showing the emptiness of the boxes from the top down view actually adds to it. Imagine her putting it in from the side angle and you don't feel this emptiness. You don't feel like it's being packed. So I hope, you know, throughout this video, we get to see how packed it gets because that time lapse or that sequence of seeing it empty and then actually f getting full feeling her decluttering like that just from an angle can be really really powerful this is a great time to check if you have any pots pans baking stuff that you haven't touched in months last day in the kitchen i try to look for any cleaning supplies that i wasn't using like i said before that slow tilt like you have angles like this that is just stationary on a tripod and then right. you have like these last day in the kitchen i try to look for any cleaning that just feel good and this mixed with that music it's like a soft piano I'm nice the second week i'm decluttering my bedroom and my bathroom so same here for the just closet, that slow I... movement if you can't have that slow tilt or pan or whatever using keyframes to zoom in and out your footage or move your footage just slightly works as well all of our finances can be organized and monitored, so spend some time marking my calendar, due dates and statements, setting up automatic payments, and canceling subscriptions I don't use. Nice. Last okay. She did that wide shot, then she did a close-up of the actual calendar, and then she got this cool angle. And it's something where I feel like, you know, as a content creator, especially when you're trying to get different shots or make things look cool, you want to start looking at the space differently it's like okay what would this look like and it's a lot of test trial and error you bring the camera here and it's like okay half the time it just looks bad and you record it and then you know sometimes you might get some like really really cool shots and i think this is a really really cool shot i can imagine her just sitting there and just being like oh hey you know there's like this little bit of space this gap where i could actually just shoot my hands let's see what it looks like it is a little soft in terms of focus because it is it looks like it's like right here or maybe it was her hands that she was trying to get. Regardless, this is just a cool angle, cool shot. Do I hold on to that are no longer serving me? What narrative about my life do I hold on to that I need to let go of? What specific and text. area of my life? I think do the I need text to let go that of? she's using here makes it feel very personal. That's something that we don't talk a lot about here because we talk a lot about camera movements and editing and stuff like that. But using, you know, text and fonts to really emphasize your videos helps. They use it all the time, you know, typography in commercials, in it's sometimes for logos as well. Using this style makes it feel very homey, makes it feel very thoughtful almost. But I do really hope that you find the time to clean up the areas of your life and give yourself a fresh start that you deserve for the new year. Mm. I feel like this shot is the only shot that she has outside of her place. And it was such a great way to cap off the video, right? And what she, what did she say? And give yourself a fresh start. A fresh you start. Deserve you deserve. Being able to like get outside of the space of the declutter or the cluttered space after decluttering and being open, right? Uh, this feels like a fresh start. Sun right outside water uh great way to cap off the video and end the video she does such a good job with writing the script and then matching those to visuals dope 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 stuff if you guys enjoyed this i think you guys would enjoy this video next so please like and subscribe i will see you guys on the next one take it easy peace